We're up here at the Royal Standard Mine. We've walked for a few hours. I've actually got one of my friends to come with me. And we've found a mine here that looks hopeful. Nice and big inside. Uh, dripping a bit. A bit moist on the floor. It's time to take my sunglasses off. Wow, this one's nice and long. So this mine um, started in, well, 1893. They started prospecting around this area. And then in 1896, the various prospects were consolidated by the Royal Standard um, Company. And then uh, they put a bunch of infrastructure in, including a tram line that went right out to the coast, or probably about 10 k's away. But then by the time um, they'd put that in, they'd run out of money to look for any gold. And the goal here in the first place was um, in veins of quartz, a kind of quartz called kaolite, which is like a soft white quartz. And it formed floating lenses that didn't increase in width as it got deeper. So they were kind of, kind of random. How, how the quartz was placed and where the gold was to be found. So the gold occurred in a type of rock called limonite and obviously in the quartz, and on the margins of where quartz and other rock met in the fissures. And also in, um, just in the rhyolite rock apparently there was gold down in there, so we've got a little drift off to the left here. See if that goes to anything. It's probably just a little place where the ore carts maybe could pass each other. Uh, I can't see anything as far as uh, mineralisation. Um, we'll come back here and follow the track around. Hopefully this is the main bit of the tunnel. And hopefully it doesn't come to an end just up here. Echoing has got a bit different in here. I just don't really like it when the echo changes. I don't know what it means. The uh, tunnel is getting a bit tighter here. Having to bend right over, it's probably less than five feet tall, I would say. And ends right there. Some pink spray paint. Um, obviously meant something to probably geologists. Oh, maybe there I can see something up there. Some brecciation in the quartz, perhaps. Or maybe, maybe this is the limonite that they were talking about. I don't really know what limonite is or what it looks like, but that could be it. Yeah, so that's the end of this one. Get past Trent down here, waking in the dark like a golem. So I don't know how many mine edits we've got down here, but this is the first one we've come across. Oh, we've got a uh, some writing in here. It looks like someone was here in the 1970s. Does that look like 1970s to you, Trent? Yeah, hard to read those last two numbers, isn't it? It is. But that looks like it was done with a carbide lamp. Um, just the soot from the carbide lamp. That's quite a nice bit of um, rock there. I might pick... Is that going to pick... The rock up right there is um, quite banded inside there. So um, I'll pick that up just to look at it outside. Go back through here. That's a little edit or we'll drive off to the right that we went down before. And the tunnel is opening out again into a hut where I'll be able to stand up. It's, um, it's probably two and a half metres high, maybe, in this bit. So coming back towards the entrance now, past all these old sleepers on the ground. 
Glad not to have got my feet too wet down here. But I'll be very interested to see if we can find some further stuff around this area because we have been walking a long time um, for little result apart from a few relics in the bush that we've seen. Uh, some old tanks, an old uh, hopper that probably led down into a crusher. Um, but apart from that, the only thing that was, looked like it was related to gold mining was um, the, the track itself looked like it was more than just a normal footpath. Looked like it probably was used by old lorries or carts in the old days. So here we are coming back out towards the entrance and we shall walk on a bit further and see what we can find. Today we're up in the Whare Kia Kirao Panga track. Today we're up at the Whare Kirao Today we're up at the Whare Kirao Panga track. That took me like three times to say. Today we're out in the Whare Kirao Panga track and that is in the Maratoto area, Goldfield in Northland and Coromandel Peninsula. So I'm hoping to find some mines out here. Um, they've got a drilling operation that seems to be uh, currently in use looking to reopen the Royal Standard Mine, I think. So we'll go around here further and see if we can come up to uh, some old mines to go and have a look at. All right, catch you in a minute. Now down in the bush here, we've got an old rusted iron hopper. I'm not sure if it really has anything to do with the gold mining or whether this, there was a quarry up the road and maybe it was more to do with that. So what we've got inside here is um, you can see the chutes down through there where um, the rock would have fallen down, uh, probably into some sort of crusher. But that's just been left out of here in the bush, slowly rusting away like all the other relics around these places. And we're just walking along the track here and it comes up to Quite a nice tunnel here. I should have got the torch out of my bag. Um, have you still got a torch on you, Trent? I'll borrow your torch. Thank you. Um, so Trent's going to walk through in the dark. Probably trip over and break his neck. That's quite big inside here. Um, quite a bit of work involved to make a track like this. It would have been big enough to have a horse walk through, I'd say. Well, quite a short horse, but a horse. Probably pulling a cart. Um, to get round to the mining areas, which are very hard to find at the moment. All lost in the bush after the last hundred years. That was interesting, just to go through there. I'll give Trent back his torch now. Okay, I found another mine at it for the Royal Standard series of mines. And we'll climb up over this uh, collapsed entrance part here and see if I can get inside down here. There's quite a lot of collapse just at the entrance. Um, hope that I can get down past here all right. Um, a little bit of dripping. Few footprints on the ground. So we've got a little indent off here. Look at all the neat pick marks. Can, does that show up on the camera? This has all been picked out. So I reckon that makes it older when, when it's been picked out like this. It looks really neat. Uh, very, I mean, I don't know if it is stable, but it looks nice and stable looking when they've got all these lovely can't pick marks out here. Uh, it doesn't look like it goes very far. Just another short prospecting edit. Um, probably into the limonite again. But hard to say for sure. I don't see any particular pockets of mineralization anywhere. Just looking back at the entrance there. We've got 
Trent is shining a torch in there, so that's why we, it looks so bright. I just thought I'd take us down there and have a quick look, see if it turned a corner, but it doesn't. Um, so we'll carry on. I think there might be a current operation. We can hear a generator a bit further down the hill. So we'll keep going and see what we can find down there. But just uh, nice to see another little adit out here in the bush. So the walk hasn't been a total waste of time. Cool. All right, talk to you soon. Got this other mine at it down here. I don't think it goes particularly far, but um, we'll have a look anyway. It's probably just a home for wetters. Um, a few spray paint marks. Again, it looks like it's been picked out rather than blown out, although it's probably some of it has been dynamited out. But uh, mainly drilled and picked out. We've got some interesting little pocket down the side there full of full of wetters and another one also full of wetters little niche niche there jumping it down onto the ground there but uh, yeah no mineralization of anything that I would recognize as part of a gold mining operation now you might notice a generator sound in the background and that's where some current guys are doing uh, core drilling see if it's still worth mining around here um, but we'll leave them in peace I think while we carry on our search we are here at the Royal Standard battery or what's left of it we've got an old tank over here very rusty possibly part of a air compressor used to power pneumatic drills um, although being right down at the battery here, it probably was something to do with running a kind of stamp mill, which probably, if it was ever installed, which seems to be some question about, it was probably installed in this little uh, depression down here. It's been, uh, the rock has been blown out on the side here and a little platform and wall, so possibly ore would have been dropped from the platform that you can possibly see there and down into a crusher and from there they would have put it into cyanide tanks um, before further processing but most of that stuff was all dragged out of here I think some of it ended up at the Wairongamai Valley possibly um, at the end of the mining that was going on there but um, most of things have just been taken away and being overtaken by the bush now. <laughs>